हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेवियर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सम नंबर 7 दिस इज द सेकंड पार्ट फ्रॉम द एक्सरसाइज 8.3 फॉर द प्रीवियस वन प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स द लिंक विल बी देयर सो हियर इन सम नंबर 7 Ariman invested rupees ten thousand in a company. That means here principal equal to rupees ten thousand. Okay, he would be paid interest at seven percent per annum, compounded annually. First one, the amount received by him at the end of two years. Okay, so here amount equal to P means here ten thousand. Then one plus rate means here seven by hundred. And hold to the power two as here two years. So that means here you can write down ten thousand into here one zero seven by hundred again one zero seven by hundred as here square. That's why you have to write down two times. Okay. So that means here one zero seven into one zero seven and that one equal to here eleven thousand four four nine. Okay. That is your first answer. Now number two. The interest for the third year. Okay, so now you have to find out only the interest for the third year. So as here one one four four nine is the amount for the second year. Sorry, after the second year, that means definitely this one will be the principal for the third year. So here the principal equal to eleven thousand four four nine. Okay, rate of interest equal to seven. Percent, so that means here interest. So here you can apply the formula of simple interest, and that one equal to here eleven four four nine into seven into one divided by hundred. Clear? So here divided by hundred, that one equal to here one one four point four nine, and then multiply into seven. So that one equal to here eight zero one point four three. As your answer, okay. Now let's move on to the next problem. So here it's sum number eight. Okay, in sum number eight, what sum of money will amount to? That means here amount equal to rupees nine two six one in three years. So n equal to here three years, r equal to here five percent per annum compound interest. That means here you have to find out principal. So here P into one plus five by hundred whole to the power three that one equal to amount that means nine two six one. So here you can write down P into one zero five by hundred whole cube that one equal to nine two six one. Okay. So as here P and here you can write down five two the ten five one here five is twenty by sorry twenty one by twenty. Whole cube that one equal to here nine two six one. Then write down p equal to nine two six one. And here you can write down twenty by twenty one. Again twenty by twenty one. And again twenty by twenty one. Okay. So as here nine two six one divided by twenty one, it's become four four one. Again divided by twenty one, it's become twenty one. So twenty one twenty one cancel out. Here P equal to eight thousand rupees as your answer. Now sum number nine. What sum invested for rupees? So as here N equal to one whole one by two. That means three by two years. Compounded half yearly. Remember that at the rate here eight percent per annum will amount to. That means here amount equal to here one four zero six zero eight. That means here P into one plus here R by two. That means eight by two by hundred whole to the power two into three by two. That is the formula of half yearly. You know that. So that one equal to one four zero six zero eight. So P one plus it's four by hundred whole to the power here three. That one equal to one four zero six zero eight. Then P equal to here one zero four by hundred. So you can write down this one here, hundred by one zero four in three times as your cube. Okay, so it will be a hundred by one zero four. 
now here it's 5 0 this one will be here 5 2 again here 5 2 again 5 0 so here 5 0 that one equal to 5 2 now as here 1 4 0 6 0 8 divided by 5 2 that one equal to here 2 7 0 4 again divide it by 5 2 that one equal to here 52 okay so 52 52 cancel out here your final answer it's 1 2 5 then triple 0 next sum number 10 at what rate percent will be here p equal to rupees 2000 okay amount to here 2315.25 in 3 years n equal to 3 so that means here P into so here you can write down P means 2000 into 1 plus R by 100 R as the rate of interest whole cube that will equal to here 2315.25 so next line you can write down 1 plus R by 100 whole cube and as here 2000 is multiply so here in the right hand side it will be in divide form okay so write down here 2000 so here point will be cancelled out so write down here 100 now here you can easily divide 231525 divide by 25 and that one equal to 9261 okay and divide 25 this one it will be here 4 so now the next line here 1 plus r by 100 whole cube now always remember that in the maximum case if the power of the left hand side you have cube then definitely the right hand side will be a cube okay always remember this one as here in the left hand side the power of the number is cube then definitely the right one will be also cube so as here 9261 you know that 9261 means 21 whole cube okay 21 whole cube and here in the denominator 2000 into 4 it's 8000 8000 means 20 whole cube so you can write down directly 21 by 20 whole cube okay so now here comparing both side here you can write by comparing both side 1 plus r by 100 that one equal to here 20 by sorry 21 by 20 that means here r by 100 equal to 21 by 20 minus 1 so 20 as lcm this one equal to here 1 by 20 so that imply here r equal to 1 by 20 into 100 so that will equal to 5 percent as your answer now next some number 11 so here in 11 if 40,000 amounts to rupees 46,305 that means here principal equal to 40,000 amount equal to here 46,000 305 in one whole 1 by 2 that means n equal to 3 by 2 years compound interest payable half yearly find the rate of interest similar kind of problem so here first write down 40,000 then 1 plus here r by 2 as half yearly so r by 2 divided by 100 whole to the power 2 into 3 by 2 that we call to here 46305 so 1 plus you can write down r by 200 whole to the power cube that one equal to here 46305 by here 40,000 okay so 46305 divide by 5 that one equal to here 9261 and divide by 5 that one equal to here 8000 that means again as same as the previous one 21 by 20 whole cube so by comparing both sides 1 plus r by 200 equal to 21 by 20 so that means here r by 200 equal to 21 by 20 minus 1 so that equal to 1 by 20 as same as the previous one so that one equal to here r equal to 10 percent now next sum number here 12 in sum number 12 in what time will 15625 okay so as here principal equal to 15625 here amount equal to rupees 
सॉरी इट्स फाइव सेवन सिक्स वन सेवन फाइव सेवन सिक्स आर इक्वल टू हियर फोर परसेंट यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट एन ओके पर एन एम कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट दैट मींस हियर वन फाइव सिक्स टू फाइव देन दैट वन इक्वल टू वन प्लस आर मींस फोर बाय हंड्रेड होल टू द पावर हियर एन दैट वन इक्वल टू वन सेवन फाइव सेवन सिक्स ओके Now the next one here, one plus as here four by hundred, so you can write down this one as one, and this one is twenty-five. So one by twenty-five whole to the power n. That will equal to here one seven five seven six divided by one five six two five. Okay, one five six two five. So here after LCM it will be here twenty-five. This one equal to twenty-six. So 25 by 26 whole to the power n. Always remember that in that case, whenever you want to find out the time, so here in each and every problem or maximum number of problem, here the left hand side, the fraction in the left hand side that means here 26 by 25 is always equal to with the right hand side fraction. So here definitely 1756 is the Whole cube or the whole to the power four or the whole to the power five of twenty six. So this is the tricks. Now, as here in the left hand side you have twenty six by twenty five, then definitely the right hand side will be also twenty six by twenty five. So as here one seven five six. So that means here one seven five six is definitely the cube or the whole to the power four. Or the whole to the power five of twenty six. So now, after calculation, here you will get twenty six to the power cube. That is one seven five seven six, and one five six two five is the cube of twenty five. So that one equal to you can write down twenty six by twenty five whole cube. Then by comparing both side, here n equal to three. That is your answer. Now the last one, sum number thirteen. So guys, if you like my video, please please share this video and please subscribe my channel. So here in thirteen, sixteen thousand invested at ten percent per annum compounded semi annually. That means again half yearly. Okay. So principal equal to here sixteen thousand. Amount equal to here one eight five two two. Okay. R equal to here ten percent. That means R by two equal to here five percent. Now you have to find out n. Okay, so as here p that means here sixteen thousand one plus R by two means here five by hundred and here two n. Clear? That one equal to here one eight five two two. So next line here write down it's one by twenty whole to the power two n. That one equal to here one eight five two two by one six. Triple zero. Okay, so one eight five two two divided by two. That one equal to here nine two six one. This one here eight thousand. So left hand side you have twenty one by twenty whole to the power two n, and here also twenty one by twenty whole cube. Okay, so that means here by comparing both side two n equal to three. So n equal to three by two. That means one whole one by two years. as your answer